This was on the drawing board long before the jet ball, unfortunately, and due to various reasons, it didn't come out before the jet yeah. ball. And I think they lost the march on the market a little bit there. Um, in a nutshell, uh, in comparison to its current competitive products, uh, if we break it down to the very start, the base of it is Primus's express stove. So you get a stove in its own right. You don't have to buy anything else to make that take other pans. You get a windshield. Obviously the express stove comes with an igniter. All of the ETA range is hard anodized aluminium. You have the heat exchanger on the base which makes it 80% efficient. And it's also triple layer titanium non-stick coating which I think is a key element, having a non-stick interior. You can boil one litre of water in there at one time. Other products, unfortunately, take a little less than a litre because they have a fill line. The lid is a non-stick, again, triple titanium coated frying pan. It also doubles as a lid. The power output of that is 8,900 BTUs. I think the closest solo cook set I've found from other people is 4,500 BTUs. And I think most importantly, It's a 230 gram canister. It also weighs in at 418 grams and recommended retail is 60 pounds. Altogether, that comes in a net bag which is hidden somewhere. It's not quite stained out because I've got the silver, I've still got the uh, safety instructions which would come off, but ultimately that fits. I think the other key element which is important for the army boys who is in general buying the jet balls is it also fits into a standard utility pouch on the way we've got. So uh, lighter, more powerful, non-stick, 